ladies and gentlemen. This is Man of Fusion here with another Minecraft Let's Play. Today, well, we actually did something different. Today, we have a plan. You see, we're going to be doing something pretty, uh, pretty fun next episode. And to prepare for it, we're going to need lots of wool. But you know what? I just don't want to have a pen sitting out in the middle of nowhere and collecting wool from time to time. We're gonna we're gonna automate it a little bit. So I was in creative testing out different things and I've finally decided on a sheep farm design that I like. And I came up with it all by myself. So yay. I did have to get this area semi prepared off camera just because getting grass over here without silk touch took forever and a lot of pistons. Or rather, recycling two pistons over and over again. But it just took a lot of time. I think clearing out this entire area ended up taking, like, maybe two hours. It was ridiculous. I still need to work on uh, fixing this stuff up a bit. Let's see. First of all, well, let's clear our bars. We're gonna, gonna be needing a lot of stuff. Okay, first, we're gonna want a transparent block like this. We're also going to want, let's see, a designator block. Let's see, we're going to also do a little fancy faceplate. Now let's just start taking stuff. We'll see how things go. Let's see, we are going to need a chest and hopper. We'll need leads to move the sheep, that just in case. You know, let's take some water buckets because we're going to be able we're going to need to move items and it should be it for now anyways this is going to be the front area this is going to be a sheep apartment complex you know like the red lat district except with sheep so for, just for now we're going to use uh, just a basic hopper chest combo this will stack uh, you know, infinitely up and to the side. This is a very tileable uh, build, but yeah, for now we're just going to do something basic. Have the all of the wool collect into this hopper. Just putting it in that chest. That should be fine for now. We're only going to be doing this one layer. I do want to eventually get ones for every color of sheep, but. That takes a lot of clearing, and we won't actually need that much yet. Okay, I already have nine sheep picked out, because that's all we're going to need for this build. Because we can fit in nine sheep and still be able to collect all the items with just two buckets of water for either side. And then up top. What we're going to be using... Here, let's start building around the side first is actually a design made using item elevators and the mechanics thereof with sheep so it's actually a very simplistic build that has auto item collection I just kinda like how it you know it does it let's see I think one two three four I think we're only going to need to be four high. We're actually going to use leaves for this. Let's see. Yeah. Okay, we actually only need three. I think this will be a designator block. Mm, let's leave it for now. Until we get everything settled. So that's going to be the roof. So this can go over. I have plenty of leaves for how much we're going to actually need. And this should be just slightly more than necessary for clay. Let's see, this back area is going to be the collection. So where you see this uh, slabs is actually just going to be the wall. In total, it's only, I think, 19 by 5 by 5. I got it reduced down that much. Yeah. The map. 
But yeah, the reason we're using leaf blocks is so that it doesn't actually uh, destroy the grass under it, because we'll need that to regrow for the sheep. Let's see. Just remembered, going to have to get the sheep up here first. I think we're going to just use a basic uh, piston to push down the grass block. That way we don't have to use screw around with the minecart systems or anything like that, trying to get the sheep in here. So yeah, it's going to be two grass every other. We might just do it uh, two grass the entire way. Just so, you know, there's more grass blocks to work with. And then have the walls made of them too. Yeah, let's let's get rid of this now. Okay, let's see. Let's build some. Yeah, let's get some stone bricks going. And we can fill in the walls real quick. That way, sheep don't accidentally wander out while we're trying to set this thing up. Because it's going to be very important that we lock them down in it. Also, for now, let's make sure we get some lighting going. We'll get rid of that later, but for now, it's important that, that this sheep can't get out. That mobs don't spawn. So let's slowly try and get one of these sheep off in the spot. We can start working with it. I wonder if I could just kind of fish them out. Yeah, you! Do f No. Okay, that's not gonna work. It's gonna say, do flippy tricks! Alright. Come on, sheep. We're going for a ride. You're moving into your new house. And, uh, sheep light district. Alright, now for the tedious part. Trying to get them right there. No, 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 stop it, no. Bad, bad sheep. Let's see. No. Well, that worked. Um. Nope. No. I... It's a very bad shape. He doesn't... He really doesn't want to be there. I wonder... Okay, I do have sticks. Let's... Make a fence post to try and tie this guy down real quick. Because he is not too happy with this. Ah, oh, is that too far? There we go. You're, you're a bad sheep. Stop it. Get, get in the hole. Get in the hole. Let's see. I think I'll just use... Oh, hey, no, no. Stay. Not allowed to go anywhere. Bad sheep. Hey, look, we got a first sheep down. And he's eating properly. Good to know. Uh, let's see. I think we'll end up clearing these ones out. We only need one every other. We will keep these, though. And yeah, I think I've minimized this as much as I can. At least, uh... While still maintaining a good cycle for grass growth. Yeah. Okay, so we got this up here. Let's. Okay, let's go get the pistons. We'll see how this works. Yeah, we should have enough oak. Let's see, put stick back. I want to loot that fence. We might need it later. For, you know, all the other sheep who are totally evil. Don't want to do what they're told. Bad sheep. Okay, let's see. 
Okay, definitely don't need to hold on to these bricks right now. We've got plenty. That might have been a little overzealous. Whatever. We're good. Okay, let's see. So block. You're not on hotbar. And... Wait, what? Really? Okay, so I forgot to take into account that pistons will break uh, grass blocks. It's okay. I guess this glass will be useful for something. Yeah, that'll do. Not exactly what I had in mind, but it works. Also, it's not really entirely visible. I mean, I guess from down here, kind of. I feel kind of bad about them, because it's the headless sheep now. <laughs> what have I done? I am a monster. All right, that should be good. Let's see. And the, yeah, the water will just go right on top of that. Again, it's a really simple design, but it worked really well from my test so far. So, let's, let's try and get some of the other sheep. This is going to be fun. You know, if you guys just all wander off, I don't think I care anymore at this point. Just come on. <laughs> we'll just jam a bunch of sheep in a hole and see what happens. Also, I've noticed uh, from this design, you can breed the two sheep, and they will be... They will actually be able to breed. I mean, the baby would still get out, but aside from that, it, it works. So if if those sheep all wander off and die in a hole, we'll be fine. <laughs> we can get more. It's okay. Let's see... That's yeah, pretty much just has a staggered design, doesn't it? Makes things really simple. Alright, let's see. That one's fine. We will still need to get rid of those torches just for the same the plain reason that we don't want the blocks that come off the sheep to end up there. Because that will just lose efficiency really quickly. Okay, little sheep. It's time to find your new home. Come on. That's inconvenient. Oh, well. As long as it... Oh. You, you, you want to you wanna do it yourself? Yeah, that's fine. You know? I'm sorry to have gotten in your way. Thanks. You're a very nice sheep. I like you. I should probably name you. I will name you Fred. I don't know why. I just... I thought it'd be a good idea. And... Now you're doomed to eternity... in the Sheeplight District. But it's okay. It's a nice place. Or so I'm told. I don't know. I would never actually live here myself. I'm not a sheep. <laughs> sure. Okay, that makes two down. You know, this is going a lot easier than I thought it would. Just because, you know, that sheep was pretty nice. Of course, the most annoying part is having to go back and forth collecting these pistons. And hopefully not losing it. Alright, let's see, uh... Come on. Come on, sheep. Go in the hole. Guys, you're good, sheep. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Yeah, stay in the hole. You know, that still kind of makes me feel bad. But yeah, there's, what, 15 colors in all? And I eventually want to make it so that they're all stacked on top of each other, just like a massive apartment complex. I mean, this... This is the sheep condos, you know? That way, I don't have just 
a bunch of free range sheep that are stacked horribly together. Oh, you can make it. Come on. Because, I mean, come on. Who wants to live like that? You know what? Good enough. Yeah, if that's where you want to be, who am I to, to judge you? You know, let's save the pistoning for later. Let's just worry about getting these darn sheep in their holes. I still can't say that with a straight face, you know? It's just it's so dirty. Hey, look, we're almost there. Might as well get this out of the way. Come on, sheep. Yeah, hey, sheep, sheep, sheepy. Yeah! Yep, let's collect a few more while we're at it. Hey, thanks for all coming up to visit. Just what I needed. Alright, let's see. Break those two. And try and get this guy in a hole. Aha! Okay, admit it. That looked totally awesome. No, oh, no, no, stop it. No, no. Bad, bad sheep. Go home. By the way, that's your home. You stay there forever now. I need a sign for Fred. Lest we forget. Stop eating the grass. You're not even shaving yet. Come on. I'm showing you where to go. That's your hole. Don't wear it out. Seriously, the entendres. Oh my goodness. For my viewers who are too young to understand what an entendre is, stay innocent. Yeah. Seriously. I, okay. At first, I was a little worried that these sheep wouldn't take to their home, but they seem to really be liking it. And you know what? I like the fact that they're so... Uh, Pro condo. Let's see. And you. And for all those sheep who don't make it, I'm sorry. But, uh, we're gonna have to donate you to science. Or to someone else. I don't know. I haven't decided what I'm doing with the, the extra sheep. Because, let's face it, we will need more sheep later on. Oh, sorry. Hey. It's okay. I'm out of wheat, aren't I? That probably would have made this a lot easier. Oh well. Let's try and shove him in the hole. Come on. Come on. Use your legs. You can jump. It's okay. I won't slaughter you. Come up. Yeah. Alright, that's a good sheep. And just for that, you get a home. And one more to go. See so guys, we're already almost there. And now you all know, you could do this too. See, I like how it has the whole barbershop look. Because that's kind of what I was going for. Cool. Come on. Yeah! Darn! Okay, this roof's kind of in the way. Alright, let's, let's try that again. Come on. Come on, shoot. Yeah! Come on. Ah! No, you have to make it up, and then I jump over you, and it's a whole to-do. But it looks awesome, so come on. Come on. Come on, sheep. Up the hole. Get in the hole. See, originally I had the idea where this grass block would be down one, and those would be stairs. And that probably would have been a lot easier for this. Actually. Forgot. Just do that. Come on. Hey. You. Don't make me tug on your, your leash. We're all civilized here. I mean, at least I am. I don't know about you. Hey. No. Stay. 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 Ah. 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 Bad sheep. You guys taking notes? Which sheep are bad? Which you good? Cause I'm not. <laughs> okay. 
That was... Wow. We're making great time. And... Hopefully, this won't cause too much lag. Although, for some reason, I've been seeming to start lagging a bit tonight. I'm not sure why. Hopefully, that will resolve itself by next time. Wow, my FPS just bombed. No. No, stop it. No. No. Alright, I'm going to try uh, restoring the recording. We'll uh, see if I can get my FPS back up. Uh, be right back, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, and we're back. Hopefully the lag is gone. We should probably finish this as soon as possible, though, because there's no telling what Fraps is going to do next. I wonder if it has to do with all of the transparent blocks over here. I hope not, because that would suck. Alright, so everything seems to be working right now. Was having a few issues trying to get all of this up and running again, but let's see. The account isn't terrible. Yeah, I have no idea why it keeps lagging from time to time, but hopefully, you know, after I record this episode, maybe, ah, maybe get my computer maintenance. I mean, I generally do that pretty often, so. Gosh darn it! So I don't think it should be the problem, but, you know, anything to help. Ah, I think I'm gonna have to break these again. Yeah, that'll work. Okay! Let's... Let's get this back in action, shall we? Alright. Cap the... Cap the sheep. Seal them into their doom. <laughs> Yeah, so these guys are going to be permanent residents. And as you can see by how freakishly annoying the constant buying is, this is why I put them off the main path. And slightly back a little bit. Because let's face it, no one wants to hear this 100% of the time. It just doesn't make sense. Who would put themselves through that? I'm now realizing I might have wanted to put this further away from my base. You know, like on another continent. <laughs> ah, well, it, it should do for now. And if not, well, we have ways of handling their con route here. Okay, that sounded, that sounded kind of mean. Don't worry, sheep. I'm not going to hurt you. Although, if you didn't buy every five seconds, two seconds... That that would be much appreciated. Yeah, maybe we could even be friends. Maybe. No? Not interested in my proposition? Well, fudge you. Fudge you and your freaking sheep face. And for a brief second, we had silence. Oh, I'm gonna miss that feeling. You know, silence. The whole... New sheep buying in your base. What have I done? Oh well, we should be fine. We'll just go slightly crazy. It's no big deal. Alright, so the next part of this, we're gonna need to put a temporary dirt layer across this entire side. Oh dear. Luckily, this should be enough. Right? Yes. Exactly enough. Okay. Now for fun parts. Let's just use wool to get back up. Don't know why I did that. Don't judge me. Alright. I'm not actually sure we have enough fences. But let's see. I'm gonna need to cover up the entire area. Get it. Oh, and we're one short. Go figure. Ah, uh, let's make that real quick. Yeah, shoot. Yeah, I can hear you. Don't worry. Everything's fine. I haven't totally murdered you all yet. Let's see. Sticks. We're gonna need a plank. 
Luckily, we don't actually need that many. So we're just off by one. And now we know. Yes, I get it! This is what I get for making the sheet light district. It's never gonna stop, is it? Not until I go insane! See, actually, I'm facing the other way. It's the other way is the cool way. Go. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. Ah! Yep. That actually still works. Okay! Yeah, there we go. Um, let's see. Gonna wanna break all this dirt back. Since you can't place those fancy fences without having a floor in them. But they could stay up afterwards. So we're fine. That, okay. Good. Now for the next part. You take your two buckets of water. Go up. Jump on top. And you just start placing it. All along the white. And then take from the red. Oh no. More sound effects. Maybe that's why. Too many darn sound effects. Alright, let's see. You got that. Now, let's take the stone bricks we have here. Start placing a wall. That chest actually should be fine, since that's the middle part, and water will never get to there with how I've spaced this out. And don't forget, when you are doing something like this, you actually do need to build the wall all the way up top. Because otherwise, blocks can fall onto the lip and you'll waste a lot of resources that way. Let's see. And now we have to go grab the other bricks that we so overzealously made. I'm actually tempted to just fill this in with some other you know, leaf block or possibly glass. Not glass, but we want a solid block though, just so nothing can possibly get through it. You know, I think we're just going to stick to stone bricks for now. I might, you know, change it up, fix it, make it fancy later on. But for now, see fellas, we're almost done here. We almost have an entire functioning sheep farm. I mean, it's really basic, but it totally will work. Seriously. I promise. For reals. Alright, that's it. It's changed all my bars up. Now I don't even know where things are. Alright, let's clear my inventory back out. Now is the fun part. Seriously, I absolutely like this part. Fun. Yeah. Okay, on either side, which is why I left a little extra room for decorating and whatnot. Then we're going to have two of these and connect them all the way. No! No! You gotta be kidding me. No! Always off by one! Seriously, I'm so low on iron, too. I haven't really gotten much since the last time we spoke. Work's been a bit hectic. And I know I have sticks over yonder. Screw it. Darn it. It was right there. Hate when that happens. And the sheep. Oh, God, there's so many sheep in my base now. I feel like I've made a great mistake with my life. Let's see. This shouldn't need a roof on it yet. Let's just put up some stairs. Or, that ah, adders. Just so I can check. Yeah, okay, that's where the roof will go. It's actually not necessary, but, you know, or, you know for the entire build, for functionality purposes. But I do want to cap that off eventually just because you know, it function better. Okay, look better, not function. Ah, 
And here we go, the best part ever. Attach your shears and just hold down right click. Ta-da! See, look at that. So happy. Yeah, let's check it out. Okay, let's see. Wool coming in. 20, wow. Yeah. So yeah, there you go. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, Man of Fusion's patented uh, sheep farm, also known as Sheep Lat District. I like how this, not only does it have the whole barbershop uh, white and red look, but it kind of looks like it's a little shop area with one of those fancy, I don't know what you call it, awnings? Yeah, it's fancy awning over the tree that are all naked and okay this just looks really wrong just okay it's sheep that are totally naked without a head it's just a bunch of sheep this okay we have gone full-blown serial killer up in here feel like a terrible person but you know what this is awesome okay it totally works exactly how I wanted it to you can actually stack a bunch of these on top of each other and even chain them with a minecart system so you go fall down one go across fall down another go across for all 15 layers which is eventually what I want to have hopefully there's actually room up there I didn't actually you know look or check or do anything other than this because this is what I was going for and I like it so yeah booyah Anyways, thank you for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I put a lot of work into this. It's like 3 a.m. right now, and I'm just now getting this done. But you know what? It was totally worth it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Anyways, see you guys next time. Thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Feel free to support my channel by leaving a like, favorite, or subscribe. It really does help me out a lot, you know. Tell me what you think down below in the comments, and don't forget to follow me on Facebook or Twitter. Check the links in the description. Anyways, this is Man of Fusion. Signing out, folks. See you next time.